This is a generational fumble by the Brooklyn Nets. Shams the Athletic just came out and leaked a trade that was offered by the Houston Rockets, an absolute steal for the Brooklyn Nets, and somehow the Brooklyn Nets denied it. Now, there was rumblings, there was rumors that this trade or a package centered around these players. You know, it was rumored around this year's trade deadline, but frankly, I didn't really believe it given the fact that I couldn't think of a GM that was incompetent enough to decline this trade at the time, and now it looks substantially worse. So we're going to break down the trade, why it's time for change in the Brooklyn Nets front office after this sort of move, and how it's going to affect the teams going forward. But before we dive into that, folks... Over 97% of our viewers are not subscribed to the channel, and we want to keep you up to date with all of the latest NBA news. So if you're part of the 97% of viewers that haven't subscribed just yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep you up to date with everything that's going on around the NBA. And a lot of the news, a lot of the topics have, you know, especially on this channel, surrounded Jalen Green lately because the man has been on absolute fire. But this video isn't specifically about his performance or anything like that, but it does revolve around him because because Shams just came out and confirmed a crazy rumor that was going around a few months ago. Basically, the Rockets called the Brooklyn Nets on a Mikhail Bridges trade, and Shams was told that they discussed a concept around Jalen Green and multiple first-round picks, and that deal was not accepted by the Brooklyn Nets. And now look, and obviously, if you haven't been keeping up with Jalen Green this season, I mean, he's still putting up solid stats on the year, 19 and a half points per game, five rebounds, three assists at just 22 years of age, you know, getting buckets left, right, and center. But since Shangun has gone down, he has been putting up some dumb statistics. I mean, 34.4 points per game over his last five games, seven rebounds, three assists. We can extrapolate it a little bit further since the trade deadline, you know, since this deal was declined and Jalen Green's been averaging 23 points per night. Again, six rebounds, four assists, shooting 36% from the three-point line. And that percentage has been up to 50% over his last five games. I mean, Jalen Green has been on an absolute tear as of late. And I'm not making this video to minimize anything of what Mikhail Bridges brings to the table he himself 6'6 six, six, you know 21 points per game five rebounds four assists he's an amazing basketball player on both ends of the court definitely a better defender than Jalen Green there as well but in a vacuum considering where the Brooklyn Nets are at they need young talent they need some pieces they need their draft picks back because it has been a disaster class for this Brooklyn Nets team since Kevin Durant has left they gave Cam Cam Johnson on a big contract here now right now hasn't really lived up to it and they've been losing games left right and center I mean this is their last sort of stretch of games for the Brooklyn Nets and I repeat they don't have any of their draft picks for the foreseeable future and guess what team does the team that's negotiating these trade offers with you. The team that's willing to offer you multiple first round picks for Mikhail Bridges. You could get your draft picks back. You could get your draft picks back if you dealt away Mikhail, who's not really leading to winning basketball here now at this point. Again, Mikhail Bridges is an awesome player. He's probably not that tier one, number one piece on a team. You know, so far this season, he showed flashes of it last year with the Broken Nets immediately when he was traded to the team. But this season just really hasn't lived up to that number one sort of expectation. Still is an awesome basketball player, but you're unwilling to trade him to get all of your draft picks back, to get a young player with that star potential upside. When I heard the rumors at the time, I just wrote him off as crazy. I was like, no way the Brooklyn Nets. Maybe it was second round picks in Jalen Green. Then, you know, I get the Nets turning that one down at that point. But multiple firsts, which again, looking at the Houston Rockets first, what they have available, they, they own Brooklyn's picks. These are the picks that are getting offered to the Brooklyn Nets in one of these packages. I mean, one of these Nets deals, I mean, there's... It's stupidity. It is dumb. It is foolishness. Like, even if you got a Rockets pick, it wouldn't be that bad. But the for the Rockets to offer this is crazy in itself. But for the Nets to decline the opportunity, especially with the haul of draft picks they got from the Phoenix Suns as well as the Dallas Mavericks for the foreseeable future, they could stockpile these assets, get a young, promising young prospect like Jalen Green onto your roster, into your system, grow and develop him, especially with the concerns of Mikhail Bridges. I know he's under contract for the next couple of seasons, but all the chatter, all the memes about him going to New York, New York, I guess he's in New York now, but going to the New York Knicks to play alongside his Wildcat Villanova teammates. I mean, it is beyond preposterous. It is beyond crazy. It is delusional. It is just silly 
for someone in this front office, for anyone in a front office to even consider, contemplate declining a trade like this if you are the Brooklyn Nets. And, you know, what's going to happen now? They, they need to overhaul that sort of front office. There's been silly moves being made by the Brooklyn Nets for the past few seasons now at this point. I, it, it's crazy. It dumbfounds me that this trade was somehow declined. I mean, the, the Nets would probably have to throw in a first or something, or at least do this deal straight up. No ex extra draft capital if they were to sort of go back to the Houston Rockets to make this deal happen. Because again, not only is Jalen Green stepping up when Alfred Shingoon has been out in recent weeks. He's been out of the lineup. He hasn't been playing. But it's been leading to winning basketball. They're going to overtake the Golden State Warriors potentially in the next week or so you know for that play in position they've won eight straight games they've won 10 of their last 11 we just made a whole video on the potential possibility but i still think the warriors will probably eclipse them but with jalen green we've seen it in this season's past the nets needed exactly this so where do they go from here because the brooklyn nets have Nick Claxton, who's an unrestricted free agent this offseason he just made some comments coming out about the same I'm not getting the ball enough. I'm not getting enough touches. They they fired their coach, Jacques Vaughn. I mean, there's been a lot of sort of inter-turmoil, especially with Ben Simmons in the lineup or in and out of the lineup this season and him getting handed the offense, but particularly the Nick Claxton situation because he's a guy that could leave for nothing in the offseason. He's expressed his frustration with not getting the ball enough in the offense. If he leaves for nothing in the offseason, you don't have your draft picks. I mean, the team is currently tanking right now unintentionally. Right, they're losing a ton of games, you know, night in, night out. Maybe they try to revisit a deal like this. I don't think they're going to get any value like this that the, the Rockets were offered, but, you know, be smart for the Rockets to potentially sell high, especially if Jalen Green's numbers are a little bit inflated with Shangun out. And there's a potential report that he's returning at some point this season as well. So they do make that play and push. If they make a little playoff push, then if Jalen Green's playing like this and then they have Shangun playing well, again, Almond Thompson, they, they've been running an interesting lineup with Jabari Smith as the de facto big man, like an undersized center playing that at this point. You know, it's allowing a bunch of, a bunch of floor space for Thompson to be able to drive you know, finishing the basket. Obviously, Fred Van Vliet can shoot, can set people up. Dylan Brooks can space the floor. The Houston Rockets have a very interesting situation going on. Mikhail Bridges would help their defense, but I still don't even know what they were thinking, even offering up this type of package. So, I don't know. It's pretty crazy stuff that this was offered. Again, I thought this was kind of a rumor just to chat it about trade that, uh, you know, the internet sort of ran with and, you know, they're just trying to dunk on the Brooklyn Nets for just being a terrible organization over the past couple seasons. But, nope. Coming from Shom, so it's very much validated here now at this point. Silly stuff. But where do the Houston Rockets, where do the Brooklyn Nets go from here after this decline trade? Let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if you want to stay up to date with everything regarding the NBA, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll plug it again, especially if you made this far in the video. You're probably the 97% that haven't subscribed just yet. Hit that subscribe button. But folks, you guys are the best. I'm signing out. Cheers.